Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Signer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode. And thank you all so so much for all the feedback and replies on the last episode with Gorilla World. You guys absolutely loved it. Hello, you. Oh, shoo, we missed it. We missed it. You guys really did like this Gorilla World habitat, which is from Cincinnati Zoo. I think hopefully I pronounced it right, which I did not know in the previous episode. But you guys were like, oh my God, I know that habitat. That is inspired of a Cincinnati Zoo. But you guys also agreed that we do need to make sure that there is a little tiny tad more space in here so we can actually uh, make sure that we get a nice family. Oh gosh, what is going on here? Has been boxed for too long. Siaman is boxed? How is that even possible? Unbox all the animals. Uh, Boquito. Wait, what is going on with Boquito? Social strat. He is stressed. <gasps> oh, I actually did not really pay attention to that too much. Oh, gosh, I did not see that coming. I did not expect that to happen. Right. Okay, so you are trying to climb on this frame. Well, that is actually uh, the frame that I want to see if I can remove a little bit of this because. Like, if you check the traversable area, you can tell that these uh, these connections to the ground, they do reduce the traversable area uh, quite a lot. So if we can make sure that we maybe just remove these right over here and maybe this one, then we will get like a more open space in front of here. But, oh gosh. <laughs> but there is also like, I, I think this is... This is, what is this? Is this grass or like maybe like this little aquatic rock that is also like hurting it a little tiny tad? I mean, we should definitely uh, uh, focus on that just a little bit to see if we can make this traversable area just a little bit bigger. So let me just jump into that right away. Now it did help a little tiny bit, but honestly, this is not really enough. I am a little bit annoyed by the fact that some of the grass is, is definitely also hurting the traversable area. I think that just should not happen in my opinion. We did remove like quite some climbing frames on uh, this side, which definitely gives them a lot more space to move around. But yeah, well, as you can see right now, this is not really yet how we want this to be. Also, the stress is definitely an issue. But first things first, I think... I just want to make sure that we have one female less. I, I think that is an option. If we just go to the Gorilla Zoopedia real quick, then we have three to six. So we could have one male and, and, and two, three or four females in here, like adults. So I think we're just going to check Boquito and we're just going to compare the mates and then we're just going to check which one okay that is 100 ife bulade okay then 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 ife is gonna go <laughs> we i guess oh shoot i already had ife click so we can just put you up in the training center and put you up uh, i'm just going to release you into the wild and see what will happen because the the, uh, the traversable area did actually not change here at all Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I'm looking at the 985, but it's a 905. Uh, so it did change. <laughs> Silly lady. It did change. We have protesters and that means uh, that is because of stressed animals, right? Oh, 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 what, 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 what? Why are you stressed? Are you exactly in the spot where you are getting super duper stressed? If I just move you... We should, we should be able to fix that, like, pretty quick. All these animals getting stressed right now? Did they change anything with the latest update? <laughs> like, make things harder? Because these are all, like... Like, look, there's another one. Has attracted protesters. You are... You are having an issue with... Oh, gosh. Okay, perfect. This is all green again. <laughs> oh, my 
my goodness, what is going on? Okay, yes, that should now be good. Animal welfare has attracted. You are also now doing well. So there are no issues at all anymore with you. Um, I'm just very happy to see that. Hello, cutie. Nothing beats a cute Asian otter swimming in the deep using all its habitat. <laughs> Absolutely love it. These guys are the cutest and just seeing animals swim is just definitely one of my most favorite things in this game. We do have... <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. How did we get five otters in here already? Is that like, is that right? We have two babies. We have a little. <gasps> Are you guys siblings? Are you? We have one sibling, Maharani. And that is you. They ha Wait, are you guys the same age? You are! Oh my gosh, I didn't know you could get like two offspring from one otter. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. Oh, that is not adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness, I did not know that could happen. Well, I could have checked the Zoopedia, but I we, we just got like one offspring all the time so i did not really see that coming but that's just amazing oh my goodness i'm so happy with that right okay all the animals are not stressed anymore yes the tickets prizes are underpriced okay the the, the gorillas are an issue um i'm not excited about that because <laughs> i really was so wait okay okay we have one thing that we could try to do to see if we can reduce the stress and that might be signs there we go security signs do not disturb if we just move these under the path i, I actually put down a lot more than i need to let's have a quick look so all the paths are now covered right over here so that is one thing that we can try and the second thing, thing that we can try is the fact that we can add the, not the educational speakers, the other speakers. Uh, there we go. That should be in here. So some ambient speakers as well. I know that there's like still debate of like, are these, uh, can they help? I actually forgot to do uh, <laughs> that. Can these speakers help? And uh, some say they don't. Some say they do. Some say that the people from Frontier actually mentioned during a live stream that they do not work, but others did mention that the speakers, like, you get, like, these tips when you start your game, right, and, and when you load your maps, and someone did say that he saw this message in one of those tips, like, use the Amian speakers to reduce stress, so... If that is the case, then I do feel like these speakers definitely work. So I will just keep on trying to use them. Hello, beauty. Oh my, oh my. These horses just look so absolutely fantastic, don't they? Oh gosh, we have a <laughs> we have a horse hat coming through there. We should actually just open that door. Why are you... Okay, well, that's probably because of the enrichment feeder. Is like all the water still filled? No, that one is not filled. That one is filled. Oh wait, okay, I signed. I signed that one already, so that should be good. But we do not have any water for these horses now, which is actually a really bad thing. Don't really understand why, because we did like assign a lot of different uh, uh, keepers to only this area already like we have a work zone can we see how much staff yes we can we actually have three already also also unassigned staff you guys remember in the previous episode that i was like oh man i need to select i i hired so much new staff and i was like uh i i need to select like all the uh, all the staff without a work zone and to put them in a work zone and you guys mentioned like oh underneath the work zones if you have unassigned staff, you can find them here, which is going to make it easier for you to select them and, and put them 
into the right work roster. So definitely a very good tip. Thank you guys so much for that. Really do appreciate that. Uh, we are getting some offspring of the Shavalskis. Horse offspring due to June 36. We still have like a, a slow mode of uh, I think it's it's two at the moment. Let me just quickly check that we have animal settings. Yes, it is on two right now, so shouldn't go too far. Uh, but finances definitely still a thing. Like reducing the ticket prices, that it would be super nice to have like this option where you could just say like ignore ticket price or something like that. Um, but that's not really the case at the moment. So we need to figure out what is the best way to like control our uh, income. Although I actually started just now with 180 or something. At least that is what I think. So we are actually spending a lot more money at this point now then I am earning and, and like I am not spending anything. I, I did only change a few things in the uh, gorilla habitat. So I, ooh, oh, we actually have a gorilla expecting offspring. That is just super amazing. I'm just going to put this on, let's say 32 and 30, because if this is indeed the case, we are losing money at this point. So we may have found that little turning point anyways but maybe it's it's because of the gorillas because the gorillas are quite expensive so this is definitely something to now keep an eye out and, and just make sure that this is all going well i did put this one already on grade three so that is working fine we have a little cheapo and we have now bolade expecting some offspring which is also a really good thing. So we may have already found this good turning point and else someone else got another suggestion of like, maybe just remove a few of the donation boxes at some like strategic areas. That could also definitely be something uh, to, to keep an eye out for. I do wanna check our finances tab. Like we have like, three different commercials or, or, or three different types of marketing going on right now. So if this means like we are only losing some money, then these are the things that we can turn off right now. And I, I like that. I like to have this control already. But one thing that someone did mention was uh, make sure that you have perks here as well. Running cost is 100. I actually thought that I had all my staff rooms already with perks, but that's not really the case. I'm just gonna like select a few different things. I screwed it out with this perk, we'll have better detection rates. No, I, I think I'm gonna keep it a little bit more general, like this staff, healthcare and social club. So we are going to spend a little bit more money on this as well right over here. Money is still going down. I am not disappointed about that because I was disappointed that I really was earning a lot of money um, and, and not really getting this right balance. Wait, where's the entrance? Oh, right here. <laughs> so how are the guests now thinking? The zoo ticket price is great. I'm just going to leave it like this. We are really uh, uh, losing money right now. So I'm now going to try and see if I can like balance it out a little tiny bit. Did we already? Yes, we are already earning some money with our toilets. Maybe, just maybe, we should then just make sure that we can stop one. They are all 5,000, they are all having I'm gonna stop this one. TV commercials, family hour. Oh my goodness, wait, did I just spend <laughs> for more money on that? Gosh, this, this may have been already the turning point. I did hire a lot of staff as well in the previous episode. So now it's just time to find that balance. Animal welfare has, what are you doing there? I already had, before I started recording, I also had like this, this white Bengal tiger cub 
standing on the same rock right over here. So I, it's not like in their traversable area zone. So it's, it's actually a little bit weird. But maybe if I now do this, then hopefully <laughs> not end up in that little, little corner right over there. Like this is fine, as long as they're not able to escape. It all should be good. Hello, lovely. Ah, look how pretty. Gosh, I'm just so happy that we chose to get like an albino male and female. Oh, it's just so freaking amazing. Did we ever see them deep dive in here? I do not remember, but there are also like no guests here at all, like just zero. <laughs> is that feeder actually being used? It is ready. It's never been used. It's ready. Maybe. Wait, why are you not being filled? That is actually interesting because that might also help us with less guests on that side. Like if we just keep that enrichment feeder and what do we have on the other side honestly can't remember we have a box we have a sleeping beauty look how awesome this just looks so cool uh do we have like a feeding plate or anything in the back right over here because that doesn't really look like too much it actually, I actually would think that we would need a little bit more. Oh, see? There's food here on the floor, which is really weird because the keeper should be just fill. Okay, let's just, let's just see if we can just urgently assign the keeper. Are you going to get some food? Wait, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to fill that water? Oh, I like that. That's cute. Uh, but the keeper is not going to fill this. No? What did you say? Uh, the animals in the Bengal tiger hammers had don't need feeding right now. They're not hungry. Yeah, okay. And there is food on the floor. But, oh, okay. Well, we, we just have to wait and see. Maybe because I moved it right now, maybe the staff will now start using it. I mean... The staff, if I just click the, uh, let's see, let's check the traversable area for the staff real quick. So we're going to click you and then we're going to check the, yeah, no. Oh, yes, there's another, another feeder right over here. That's right. So is this one being used? This one is also not being used. Uh, that is a little bit odd. Um, I can just move that one as well a little bit. And just smooth things out. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Does that mean... No, I don't want to delete that one. Definitely not. We have to wait and see. Might be a little bit buggy. Maybe they did some, uh, some updates and that's why it's, it's not working uh, properly anymore. But I do really hope, like, uh, these, these animals deep diving is just so extremely cool you see by the way that this is it's still a bottleneck but it is definitely not as bad as it was but we also still do oh yes yes yeah, so many yes <laughs> go 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 oh man okay <laughs> despite the weird glitches of the climbing is still just so cool so gorgeous absolutely love it. It, it it's been such a great choice to remove a few of the climbing beams and stuff definitely is but yeah we still do not have like more habitats on this particular area i'm actually thinking oh man can it stop raining please uh we have the simangs right over here i'm going to do we have any messages no we do not uh oh you see you guys our money is actually going down a lot. That is also no boy, no. <laughs> we need to find that out. I'm going to stop this one as well. And I'm going to check because we may have hired a little bit 
too much staff then? Like, we also raised their salaries. Can we already see, because I did not really spend too much, we can only see years of, of expenses and income, which is actually a... Oh, wait, but... Mm, not entirely sure, because I did build things, so obviously those are also expenses that we did. But is that, like, zoo ticket price and refunds? There was a refund? Interesting. Staff wage definitely went up <laughs> comparing this one to that one. So, so well, the, the, the thing that we can learn from this is that the raising staff wages is helping, but you need to not overdo it as much as I do. <laughs> Uh, we have three people working at this point at the Javalski's horse. Mm, did we actually change? We did change some of the, the, the tasks, I think. Clean habitat. I'm going to check the three. Can I see that from here? Who is working in this work roster? Perfect. So this one is highly trained. And then this one, Nan Mac McKinnon or something. I'm going to put you on clean habitat only. And Anthony, Anthony's gonna gonna be fired. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony. I probably just hired you, but I feel like it's for the better. We have horse shop, six people, we have everything. Yes, okay, that is fine. So we're gonna go back to this tab. You are now fired. I feel like we do not need any research, so I am going to fire two yes i probably did hire them only recently and maybe two like I, I need to not overdo this as well i think i'm just gonna wait and see if our income is going up or down and then see if we do need to fire a little bit more staff soon but i feel like this may be how we can control this like obviously it's going fast pretty easily at this point so i'm not entirely happy yet i'm fired yes you are i'm so so sorry <laughs> now my money is going up again so the balance at this point feels like hiring more staff or not Chevalsky's horse is about to oh look how cute even in the rain it's cute <laughs> it even is but yes you probably already noticed in the training center, we right now have some cassowaries because you guys did vote for the cassowary to be added. And that means that we will need to make sure that we are going to add an Australian area. So where do I want to add an Australian area? We, we have Africa basically being this area now. We have Asia being this area now. Maybe this corner right over here is better fitting for South America. I think we might want to have... It's like, it's going to be an Australian area with like four animals. So I think, I think this is going to be a nice area for the Australian animals. And uh, yes, we are going to start with some beautiful southern cassowaries and I'm just really excited for that. Without further talking, let's go and start building.
I think in planet Z, we all have that moment where you're just like building and you're just not entirely happy with what you're doing. And there is a point where you're just like, okay, I'm just going to like delete everything that I got here and start all over again. Or you will just try and continue and keep on adding things until you are happy. And I chose the last option. And um, I am I am pretty happy in the end with how this area has turned out. So we have the Australian area, obviously, with like this, this, I, I like this sign. I did get some inspiration of the uh, entrance to the koala experience in Koali Zoo. So I did use a little bit of inspiration for that. But yeah, I, I think, I think it works. So it is basically right here connected to the African area. We have the white rhino right over here. And then we have this extended path and we go to Australia. This just might have obviously like change a little bit. Maybe we will just have like a path going like this and then we can have like a habitat in between still. But for now, we have the entrance right over here. So if we go inside, we have on the left side, we have a little information area. And I did realize like, uh, I need to add some kind of toilet somewhere. Like these people already use it. So we have a little toilet building right here in the backside. And this is the viewing gallery for the cassowaries. So if we go back right over here, guests can obviously sit down here and rest for a little bit. Then we have on the right side, we have the food truck corner. And I don't know why or what happened, but I was just like, you know, I just want to build some kind of food corner and anything like that. And I was like, oh, yes, finally, let's go and use the food truck. So uh, obviously you can download these trucks as well from the collection list in the uh, uh, link in the description of this video if you want to download them. I, I made two different versions, so um, I like it. This is also like an example of just keep adding items to it and at some point you're kind of happy with how it looks and i am i i am i i think it looks messy i like it i think it's a it's a very cute little corner and of course the guests can also then walk over here and sit down at this little small plaza where they can enjoy their food or drinks and just take a rest and then we can finally go to the habitat right over here uh, this is the other viewing gallery. First, go to this section right over here. Because this is the first viewing gallery that I, I basically started with. Like, this is a little bit lowered. You can tell a little bit from the path that it is going down. Now, I was not really planning on having this open because for sure we're going to have guests uh, standing here instead of going to the viewing gallery. But I kind of like how this looks. I like this open feeling for, for, from here. Like, it is a little bit further away. So I do really hope that the guests are going to use the viewing galleries instead. So it is a little bit more narrow right over here. And we have just basically like uh, some kind of square of path. And then I put like barriers underneath here. So hopefully they will be working and the guests will stand here. And then uh, also an example of just keep adding i was not happy with this building at all and i just kept adding things and and at, in the end i started using the decals and that was the point where i was like you know i'm actually quite happy with this building now but it really took a long time to be completely honest and so we have a little educational sign right over here as well a conservation sign I, I, I really wasn't happy with like the the flat walls right over here or like the the plain walls so that was the reason why I just also kept adding signs and stuff to uh, to the sides here. And I thought like, you know what, it's actually a cool idea. So we have Birani and Loana. And these are the actual cassowaries that are in this habitat right now. And I thought that was a cute idea. And then on this side, now I have only one sign. But later on, I saw that they can have up to four offspring. So we we might want to want to see and look into that but I, I felt like oh yeah that's cute for one baby but yeah maybe we get more babies so that is why there is like a blank sign right over there 
And uh, we have another category uh, educational sign right over here, which is just this picture of uh, Loana. But I just really like that picture. And you can, if you want to, you can download all these billboards for your, for, to use for your own zoos in my Discord server. So you can just uh, go to the link in the description and join my Discord and then you can find a Planet Zoo billboards uh, chat room where you can download all of the billboards that I basically uh, create for my own zoos if you like to. But yeah, we have a cute little viewing gallery right over here. This is one side of the glass, uh, so to give them a little bit more privacy. And then we have this uh, forge box and Richmond feeder thingy right over here. And what is really nice about these cassowaries is that they are able to walk over all these rocks. So I was really able to just continue hunting so many rocks in here. And this, this is definitely a lot more than they actually need to, but once they get some babies, then we definitely do need some more space. So that is why I already uh, tried to make it a little bit bigger at this point. We have a small clot otter that is stressed. We will look into that in a second. Let's just go to the other viewing gallery. We have another viewing gallery and I just really do like these cassowary statues. So I use three of them, actually four, because there's also one at the Australian area entrance right over here. But look, these guests are actually using it. So all right, okay, we can go in here. And then you have a, a little educational sign right over there. There is one bench right over here and a bin. And the guests can then look into this beautiful cassowary habitat from basically all angles. I did try, oh gosh, I did try to uh, blend in this shelter building a little bit more. So because it was a little bit too obvious for my taste still. So yeah, I, I think when adding these these rock formations and, and then that green on the sides, that definitely worked a little bit to, to blend it in a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, guys, but this rock work is definitely also hugely inspired of the habitats that we have seen in uh, the Boggy Button Zoo from Leave that we did on the channel, a zoo tour. I was talking about these rocks being like, oh my god, these rocks just look so good. And for some reason, I wasn't quite sure like, what is the difference between the rocks that I use and the rocks that he is using and why it looks different. But someone did comment like, I think the secret that Leave is, is using for his rocks is having the cracks in white. So I was like, wait, what? Is that really a thing? So I went back into his file and I just checked the rocks and indeed, everywhere where I checked, instead of like a darker cracks color, you have a white cracks color. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to change that. And I just don't know what it is exactly, but it looks good. So yes, from now on, we are going to use rocks with white cracks instead and I don't know why but it just looks really good and I just love the amount of rocks we are able to use like it's it makes your habitats look so beautiful and of course the grass as well from the conservation pack if you're just new with planet zoo <laughs> and you're starting out and you're like oh why I just want to be creative and like what kind of packs would I need for that go for the aquatic pack for the aquatic rocks conservation pack for the grass and your pack for the decals like these three things are like essential for building like beautiful habitats and, and very realistic look at like the sunlight coming through here by the way isn't that just gorgeous but yeah the cassowary itself is also just so beautiful. Oh my god, we missed that little hop again. Oh my gosh, they're so funny. And, and scary at the same time. And so beautiful. I don't know. These animals are just freaking amazing. Absolutely love them. And obviously this habitat is just pretty dense uh, because these guys just like to hide. So yeah, I, that is why I did want to put like a lot of green and stuff around this whole habitat. I do actually really like it that they are using the path around it, but I actually... Ah, oh, right. Okay, they can. I was, I was thinking like maybe they're going through here, but I actually made this a pretty obvious path. 
in between so that works exactly how you want it to work which is just perfect absolutely love it okay now you're going a little bit through the green wall so yeah let's see if we can hopefully get some offspring from Loana and what was it again Birani do we have any research going on here uh, for research do we already have that I think so because I did have the cassowary as well in my franchise mode series yes so we do already have all enrichment items and fertility bonus so I think that's good do we want to check upon their Let's see. Compare mates. Oh, I see. Cheryl. She's already expecting offspring. Are you kidding? 95%. How did we miss that? I feel so sad about that. Missing missing out on that. But we, we are getting offspring. That's amazing. That's the end of the year already. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, but we can then also put this one on grade three because we do have the money for that so i think i think everything is doing well oh my gosh i'm just so happy that we are getting some offspring of these beautiful yet scary birds they're just super amazing aren't they do let me know in the comments down below what do you all think of this uh new australian area and the habitat we made for these cassowaries leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and keep an eye out on the community wall for another poll to vote for the next animal that we're going to add in our tropical franchise mode series leave something nice in the comments down below and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys